This is Artifacts of Mars. Their language is likely to be a little rough, so maybe I'll get the kids on their own. I'll try to hold it down. Uh, if you are a heterosexual man, you're in trouble. Because you have the federal government uh, wanting to basically regulate your sex sexuality. Especially if you're in college, but it'll also affect anybody else. I uh, saw this editorial on Democrat and Chronicle. This is the uh, Rochester, New York edition of the New York Communist Party propaganda rag. These are basically Marxists who run this newspaper. At any rate, uh, what they want basically government to do is come in and solve this problem of what they perceive to be campus rape. Now, rape is already illegal. It's already a crime. So, what's going on here? Oh, well, this isn't hard to figure. Uh, they're going to start regulating you. They don't want you to you see, they don't like the image of the, you know, the jock, frat boy, you know, young libidinous. And, of course, the women are all victims who are helpless and all this. It's all, all horse dung. New York State's getting into that. So is uh, California. And now, the federal government, this should scare anybody. They didn't even do this in the old Soviet Union, as far as I know. Federal Campus Accountability and Safety Act is what they want to cram down throats. Basically, you're going to be afraid even to look at a woman by the time they get done with you. The homosexuals, of course, won't be able to do anything they want. But, uh, if you're a heterosexual man, <laughs> you'll be, you're going to be terrified even looking at a woman by the time these people get done with you. Uh, because you're, you're going to be so heavily regulated that you're not going to dare do anything. You can take that right to a bank. Uh, when I was in the military, I remember visiting one base where no leering, which basically meant you could not look at a woman. You were prohibited from looking at women. It's no joke. I was there. So, the SUNY system, State University of New York, is getting into the act. They'll regulate the colleges, which in turn will regulate the penises of every heterosexual man there. Uh, here's another article from the same Marxist newspaper, Democrat and Chronicle again. Setting up new financial penalties for schools that don't report timely crimes. Requiring schools to detail how each sex crime is handled Requiring each school to establish a memorandum of understanding with local police, sharing information on viol sexual violence cases. You're, a, if you are a heterosexual man, your rights just got flushed right down the toilet. You ain't gonna have no rights. You may as well put a lock on your penis right now. I'm telling you, this is how these people operate. They make it all look, you know, nice and sanitized. Oh, this is necessary. This government's going, government's going to solve this problem of campus rape. And what they're really doing is they're re going to regulate your penis. And that's what it amounts to. Like I said, you may as well put a lock on because you won't be able to use it. 
there was a movie, and I'm struggling to remember the name of it. It was from a long ways back, from the 70s, I believe, and the movie scene was the women had taken over, and the men were basically kept doped up. Gee, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Men were basically kept doped up. And they're called dinks. And, you know, you couldn't even share an elevator with a woman in that movie. I am hoping I can remi remember the name of that movie. It slipped my mind, but there is such a movie. And that's the kind of thing I'm afraid we're headed for with this. This is big time liberalism, this is big time uh, invasiveness on your s private sexual life. All these people all sit there and say, well, women, we want our bodies to be our bodies and we don't want government regulating them and here they want to regulate your penis is what it amounts to. Like I said, rape is a crime, and when there is rape, it needs to be punished. But this is going to go far beyond that, I guarantee it. And here is the uh, bi so-called bipartisan legislation. There aren't two par parties. These are all... These are all uh, Two heads of the same monster, basically. There isn't two parties at all. I mean, I think we ought to change the uh, symbol of the Republican Party to the rhino. If you get my drift. All it does is add an H, but that's all they are. They're rhinos. They're not even Republicans. Screw them. That's the way I see it. Amid troubling reports of cases of sexual violences at colleges and universities, the Campus Safety and Accountability Act was announced Wednesdays, Wednesday by co-sponsors Claire McCaskill, Democrat, Mer Missouri, Dean Heller, Republican, Nevada, Richard Blumenthal, Democrat, Connecticut, Chuck Grassley, Republican, Iowa, Kirsten Gillibrand, Democrat, New York. She's a hardcore leftist. Kelly Ayotte, Republican, North New Hampshire. Mark Warner, Democrat, Virginia. And Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida. So even Marco Rubio is getting into this. Um... And here's something I haven't checked out yet. Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. Bottom line is... Uh... Well... By the time they get done with it, like you said, you may as well put a lock on your penis. Uh... There used to be this... concept of a chastity belt when that was worn by women. I don't know what a guy would wear. Uh, I mean, you do have to piss every so often. Um, you're screwed. If these people get your way, you may as well not even... You'd be like the well, men in that movie I mentioned, I can't remember the name of right now. You're going to be reduced to second-class citizens... And the only time you'll be able to basically use it is when you're told to. So, basically men will be reduced to these uh, working slaves. Heterosexual men. This won't affect the homosexuals. Heterosexual men will be reduced to these basically working slaves that <laughs> will only... Uh, be able to 
do what they want. When they're told they can do this, then they do this. You're screwed, people. You men, if you're not alarmed by this, I feel sorry for you. Alright? Heterosexual men. Let's be clear on that. This will affect the homosexuals. That's not who it's aimed at, at least. It might affect them a little, I don't know. They can do, you know, they can get married, do anything they want, while the government is cracking down on you and your penis and all that. This is what I'm saying. You're in trouble. If you don't wake up to what the hell these people are doing, this is beyond belief. I say rape's already a crime, so you enforce the law, that's all that needs to be done. Enforce the law. Rape is a crime as it should be. This is disgusting and despicable. And you're going to be reduced to nothing more than working machines. That's all you'll be. You're not going to be fathers, taking your kids fishing. Just be a working machine, basically. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm all fucking pissed right now. So, and I don't have much time, so just bear in mind, you're in trouble, you're going to have to wake the hell up. All these fuckers, I've said this before, all these fuckers have to be thrown out of office. Every single damn last one of them. we got to get candidates that don't have an R or Democrat, R or D after the name. Throw every one of these motherfuckers out, and let's get some people... We're dedicated to true American principles in there. People who will tell that UN and their climate uh, Nazis to go fuck themselves. People who can make a better country for the people in this world. That's what we want. It's a nightmare. We have over 92 million uh, work. We're in a period of stagflation. The only good thing is the gas prices are coming down. Wake up, people. You're being screwed. That's all there is to it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Good day.